good morning, beautiful people. Let me put sunglasses on. I'm currently on my way to a viewing at an apartment. It is at 10 o'clock. It is currently 9.17. I am going to get Starbucks before I go. <sighs> yeah, and hopefully I won't be late. Because... You know, things take time to get places. Things take a lot of time. But yeah, I'm heading to go view an apartment. I will let you know my thoughts afterwards. Today is actually a pretty chill day. I don't have a lot going on today. I did have a meeting this morning that got canceled. I was going to view a house at 9. Looking at the photos online and... I was like, mm, I'm not really sure about it, but you know, it doesn't hurt to view because I talked to the importance of viewing a place. And the viewing was at nine. They contacted, they like texted me at like six o'clock in the morning and 7.15 in the morning um, and was like, uh, please reply one if you're gonna show up. And then at 7.15, um, you have 15 minutes to respond to this e this text message uh, to confirm you're going to show up. And I was asleep because I was planning on waking up at 8 o'clock. And the, the house is not that far from me. So it would literally take me no time at all to get there. And they canceled it. And I was just like, maybe this is a sign that I'm not supposed to go. And I'm not going to put effort into where I'm not supposed to be. You know what I mean? I'm just not going to do that. So... Yeah, it was uh, interesting to say the least. But anyways, I'm going to head to Starbucks now and then I'm going to go to this viewing and I'll check in with y'all later. All right, it is literally the end of the day, but I viewed this place this morning, this apartment, and it was great. It was perfect. The price is great. The locations, you know, it's in an area that I was like, I don't really want to live in this city um, or this like part of town, but it's not bad. Like it's near like pretty great places. So I'll just leave that part out. Anyways, went to go check out the apartment today, earlier today. So it's like much later. It's like 6 p.m. right now. And it was great. It fit all of my needs. It was nice and bright. Um, good size for one bedroom, one bath. And the price was very affordable. Right now I'm just kind of going back and forth on the trash and some of like the fees and stuff because they were not clear on a lot of their fees. So I'm just trying to get some clarification on some fees right now. Um, yeah, like I was going through the application process to kind of start and one of them was this thing that she showed us at the viewing today, the tour. And I'm just like, why this, like what this service is doesn't exist why is it on here doesn't really make sense so i'm just trying to get like all those things kind of sorted and yeah I'm trying to get a better understanding of like all the different fees because i was told one thing and on paper it's another thing and i'm just like Yes, this is very affordable compared to a lot of other places, but I also want to know what I'm getting charged because if it then turns out that I'm going to be paying the same exact price as other places, I might as well just go for a different place, you know? So yeah, that's kind of like what's happening. All right. <gasps> So I think I found an apartment. <laughs> Thanks to my friend Abigail. Um, yeah, I... Uh, 
Really like it. It has a lot of natural light. Secure parking, which is great. Really good size for the price. And the location is great. So, the only thing is, it's available after my lease is up. <laughs> so I have to find something in the interim before. But other than that, I think I'm going to apply to it. So, we shall see how this goes for your girl. Man. It's crazy. I just want secure parking, in-unit laundry, central AC, you know. And I want to feel safe where I'm living. I also don't want to pay a crazy amount of money for all of that. <laughs> so it's just been challenging because places that are really nice are not really nice, but like places that fit my needs, whether they're nice or not they're charging a crazy amount of money and I'm just like this isn't right this is not right but that's how it be sometimes that's how it be there's not much you can do about it unfortunately the other apartment that I looked at the other day is great but they're being a little bit shady about the pricing for the fees and stuff. Because <sighs> I'm just asking about certain pricing. That they were like, oh, that's free, but we do have like this fee. And I'm like, okay, if you have the fee, what is the fee? <laughs> and they keep evading my question. And it's so weird. It's very weird to me. I like don't understand why and it's weird because like the person who I toured with lives at the apartment complex and I'm like you should know what the fee is you can look at your own bill unless it really is what you're saying online which means like it's still cheaper but like you know I don't know it was weird but anyways I think I'm gonna apply to this one and go for it because I just need to I need to have something like locked in and I need to know what I'm doing and it also means that I'm most likely gonna be moving twice twice I really don't want to do that but at this point I'm just like I've exhausted all of my options I've seen so many places and another requirement that I didn't realize that I had until you know recently is an elevator because if people come visit me the current place I live in is on the second floor and the stairs can be an issue and it'd be nice to just have an elevator for their sake so that they don't have to go up the stairs because it's, it can be a lot on your body so I'm really hoping this is where I'm supposed to be I'm going to pray about it and then if it's right, I'm going to apply. I just want to apply to one place. And that's it. I've already wasted $29 on a application fee. Because I really wanted to move into this house. And family and friends are telling me that that's not the smartest decision. And I understand. Every time I come on here, I am just, you know, 
complaining, but it's honestly, I have no idea where I'm gonna live. It's just like, there's so many things I've kind of written down on my goals for this year that I've wanted for myself and they might not happen. A lot of other amazing things have happened on this list. I'm still so incredibly grateful and thankful. But it's hard, you know, when you envision your life a certain way and you plan for things and it's not happening in the timeline that you want it. It can be difficult to kind of face that reality. And I'm facing that reality of like, well, girl, this might be it. These are the cards that you've been dealt. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right. It's the weekend. And I'm taking the weekend off from viewing any places and doing any tours. I'm feeling less stressed, which is great. But also... There's a lot of new things happening. Trying to find a place to live, starting a new job. So basically, we'll be moving into a new place, new job, and trying to also maintain relationships, figure out what's going on health-wise, which I should be finding out my results next week, and should be finalizing a place next week as well. So by this time next week, I should know what's going on and I should have a game plan. But I'm taking this weekend. I listened to my grandma. She was like, you need to go to bed early. And you need to just, like, take a bath or something and go to bed early. So I didn't take a bath. But I went to bed early. Um, I might take a bath tonight. Like a soak. And some Epsom salt and stuff like that. But we'll see. And I ended up waking at 10.30 in the morning. So... It really made me realize that, yes, I've been stressed about trying to find a place to live to the point where I'm not sleeping well. So, also, my room is literally a nightmare. It is chaos, which is not making me feel good. So, tomorrow, I'm going to try to work on that and, like, get a little bit more organized in my room and get things, like, settled so that they're not looking super chaotic. Um... But yeah, I'm just really thankful for my community because more and more people just continue showing up and supporting me and helping me and in my time of need. And I'm just super grateful and thankful. And I was coming from the springs today and it was like raining and I was looking at the mountains and it was beautiful and you just see the sun rays just shining and it was such a glorious sight. And then I saw a rainbow, a massive rainbow because I was like really close to it. And I was just praising God, and I just got this overwhelming sense of, like, I'm going to be okay. It's going to work out. And it is. It is true. Like, regardless, next week I'm going to finalize something for a place to live. i um, starting a new job as well, and I should have more answers regarding my health stuff. And, um, yeah, I'm really hoping it's not even more stressful. So yeah, I have a game plan for tomorrow. Tomorrow's also really busy because I have an event and then I have a dinner. And I just hope everything, you know, goes well, you know? But it's a lot of newness that is happening. And I'm just trying to keep up. This season has been intense. And it's crazy that I'm going through it, but it's going to be fine. It's just, you know, it is what it is. So regardless, it's going to be okay. I just have to get through it and be patient and take my time and trust the Lord that it's going to be fine and have faith. So, I am going to check in with y'all once I have some answers. I might actually check in with y'all once I organize my room tomorrow because 
My room is giving chaos, which is not making me feel great. When my room is a mess, I am a mess, which is why I have to keep my room clean because when my room is messy, it's like a cluttered home, a cluttered mind, and it is so true for me. And I don't function well in those environments. I'm glad that I was able to get a lot of sleep last night because I missed up a lot. I'm very well rested today, so I'm going to try to go to bed early. Maybe take a bath, like go in for a soak or something. But yeah, I'm really hoping it's onward and upward from here. Because these last three months have been so stressful with interviewing, health stuff going aw awry, and deciding not to renew this lease, which I regretted for a little bit, but also I don't, because the next place I want to live, I don't want stairs, either I want to be a house or apartment complex that has elevators. So we'll see. It will work out. Hopefully Monday. I'm hoping Monday night I know what I'm doing. I have a plan. But we'll see. <laughs> Honestly, I... I'm kind of upset right now. Someone scraped the side of my passenger car and damaged my um, hubcap. Fortunately, I had an extra one so I can put a new wheel cover on. And so the tire is fine. I don't have a flat tire, which is great, but the front side of my passenger side is like damaged. Not too bad, but it's obvious and still sucks. Um, how they damaged it is so beyond me and there was a car who parks next to me let me know who they live in the in in the complex that my car was damaged <laughs> yeah they're like yeah we saw them come out but like we didn't you know couldn't like get any information on he was like it looked like a newer car and so hopefully i can find them and be like hey you damaged my car um yeah, it was really annoying, kind of sucks, but it is what it is, and their car might be damaged too, so hopefully I can find them, but if it's not, then it'd be difficult to find, because I don't really, it was late at night, didn't get a license plate, I knew what the car to the left of me looked like on the driver's side, it was a white SUV, but the other car, I think it was a black car or a truck or something, so yeah, so that kind of sucks, but my room is so much more organized. I basically everything that's out is what needs to be like packed away. So like stuff that is on that stuff, you know, out here. Um, I have these, you know, three things, and then anything that's like out on the counters in my bathroom. But yes, yeah, so essentially, like I have all these boxes here, some clothes. All these boxes are gonna you know go how they are um a couple shoes and stuff like that are out and then obviously the clothing and stuff which i have um a suitcase and then a travel suitcase here so they can go in there but essentially everything is packed um i have like two more boxes um might need to buy a couple more this is very sparse and empty. I have like tissue boxes. I have the heads for my um, toothbrush. And then I have a box that's down there that's gonna house my cleaning supplies, which is under the right side of my sink. So it's like down here. And then I just have like, some like nail polish remover, alcohol, menticol, Lysol, aloe vera, and 
some Castile soap, and then everything that's on the top of the counter, as well as like some shampoo bottles. So it's like very minimal stuff, which I feel like could fit into, you know, one box. And then some of my kitchen stuff is packed. The only things that are not really packed are, I mean, this area really, um, it has like some alcohol and some more breakable items as well as the stuff that is on here. So like my plants and then I have like my dry goods up here. I have, um, what's it called? A blender up there. I have, you know, I have a basket back there that has some of my stuff. And then I have some like baked good perishable items there or non-perishable items there. And then I have my spices up here and some more spices and sauces. I have bowls and plates, mixing bowls and stuff like that. And then my KitchenAid, this stuff, and my air fryer. I have some like baking goods under there. And that's really it. I plan on donating the toaster and the kettle. And I also plan on donating all of these um, containers, these food containers, because I've had them for a really long time. And I honestly feel like it would be better to have the snap uh, lids because then I don't have to worry about spillage and stuff like that. So yeah, but no, my car was uh, damaged last night. Um, honestly, it might be that Honda that's right there who did it and they live right below me. Which, um, like, we've been good neighbors. We haven't, like, talked to them or messed with them or anything. Um, we kind of just keep to ourselves and do our own thing. But we are above them, so maybe they have, like, a grudge or something. But I don't know if it's that car or not. Yeah, it just kind of sucks. It's, like, it's minimal damage, but it is noticeable. So... It just kind of sucks to go outside and I was like, why is there a note on my car? And I was thinking, oh, it's probably the left side. Wasn't the left side. Um, Cause the way that they were parked on the left side, I was like, for sure they're gonna hit me. I just wish I had, I really wish I had their, um, their license plate so I could report them because I'm like why would you do like why would you damage someone's car but there are people out there like that it's just kind of frustrating who knew that this moving vlog would turn into what it's turning into my gosh so I said that my car was damaged I ended up so the, let me tell you the tea Essentially, this guy backs into my car. My neighbor saw it, but the guy was still parked next to me and acted as though someone else had damaged my car. And he was like, oh, we'll look out for you. And I believed him until I saw my neighbors and I got their account. And they're like, yeah, we saw him do it. Two eyewitnesses. And I ended up throwing away the wheel cover into the dumpster but it was at the top of the dumpster my grandma's like you need to get it out so i got it out thankfully it was at the top of the dumpster and she was like you need to file a police report because he dented your car and scratched it and you want him to fix it like honestly that's what you're gonna want to happen so filed the police report um i told the 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 sheriff the deputy sheriff what happened and he's gonna try to get the eyewitness support and if I can like get in touch with them as well um, I'm gonna be like hey can you contact them for me as well to just let them know like what you saw with my car please I would really appreciate that um, and 
then like once he gets their eyewitness account then he's gonna go to where they live because they literally live next door but a unit down so they're like i'm at the top i'm on the second floor they're there on the first floor but they like live next door so i know where they live and the fact that there was witnesses thank god praise god oh my gosh i was like <laughs> everything it's been a time y'all it's been a time trying to find a new place to live starting a new job um health stuff and then my car like your girl has been going through it and i don't mean to give you this energy but i'm just processing in real time I'm just processing in real time. So if your car has any damage to it, file a police report. Try to know when you came out. Take pictures immediately. Um, know where the damage is done. Just all that stuff. But my gosh. So yeah, I, um, I'm really hoping this works out. And the officer who like is taking my case He's going to be working this entire week in this area, which is great. And he's like, I'm going to come back several times. Um, sorry, I'm just putting a receipt away in my filing system. But yeah, as soon as I like see this car again, um, I'm going to take a picture of the license plate. I'm going to see if I can find my neighbors again because they're not home. And I'm just gonna be like, hey, <laughs> I need this sorted because it's so, it's so annoying. <sighs> but yeah, I'm just really thankful that my neighbor saw it because I would have come out to a damaged car and not been able to do anything. And I'm glad that I kept the, the, the wheel cover in my car. But to tell you that it's been like a stressful time, it's been a stressful time. Like trying to move, getting a new job. It's just been honestly like it. Okay. And I've been telling my grandma about this entire thing. I'm just. I feel good knowing that like it's reported i i filed the police report it happened today and honestly like it sucks to have my car damaged but like it's not it's not undrivable it's still drivable i can still drive my my vehicle but i had everything when you're filing a police report you have to have your driver's license your insurance and your registration and i had all that so yeah. I like want to cry, but I literally can't. Because I'm so stressed about everything that's happening in my life. So yeah, moving and filing a police report because my car was damaged. When my neighbors like told me about it, I was so pissed. I was so pissed. I was like, how could he lie to my face? But you know what? Anybody can lie to your face. Anybody can do a hit and run. Anybody. And it's so unfortunate that people are out there like that. Like, there have been times when I bumped into someone's car and not caused damage that I could see, but I still left a note being like, hey, please call me. I caused damage to your car. Like, and did the right thing. There's nothing wrong with doing the right thing. But that's really hard for some people. Little did he know that other people were watching. And little did he know that I'm going to file a police report. I didn't know that you would that you should file a police report. But yeah, I'm just like, bro, your insurance needs to fix my car. Because um, it's not like I'm going out here bumping people's cars. Like I try to be a really safe driver. Yeah. Anyways, I have to leave <laughs> in a little bit because I have a dinner to attend. 
She's got jokes, man. She's got jokes. All right, so I'm gonna... I'm really excited that I'm going to this dinner because I'm gonna eat my feelings. <laughs> I know this is probably not a good thing, but like, I'm stressed about everything. I don't know where I'm living, but I do have a place to stay in the interim, which is really nice. I have a family that I can stay with who are just really, really gracious. And pretty much everything is packed. Like, my room is packed. Oh, I don't even have freaking <sighs> back. Girl, buckle up. You're in for a ride. Okay, so I think I told you guys that I had to file a police report for my car. And my neighbor saw everything. I come home from having dinner with Cub. Cub, if you're watching this, shout out to you, girl. Um, come home from dinner and literally I see the red Honda that did that to my car. And I saw the police car there as well. And I took a picture of the license plate and I noticed that there was like new treatment done to the car. There's like these new silver things that were added. Oh girl, I'm getting all the text. Speaking of Cub. <laughs> um, I got so many text messages now. <sighs> Anyways, get home, police officers there. The guy's coming out of his condo apartment. And I'm going upstairs and, and the police officer is like, hey, Jasmine, I'll be right up to see you in a moment. Guy signs paperwork. I tell Melanie everything that happens. Melanie's my roommate, in case you didn't know. Um, we're both like shook together. Guy comes up, the police officer comes up, gives me the guy's insurance, and he's like, yeah, he did it. Man lied to my face lie to my face oh my gosh lie to my face but thank god there were witnesses and that i was able to file police support and it just went so smoothly the police officer was really great and friendly um and I'm just speaking from my experience here today. What I experienced today with the police officer, the sheriff, he was really great, really friendly, told me exactly what was going to happen, what he was going to do, how he was going to get his insurance company. He told me like, you're gonna call the insurance company, here's the policy number, here's the car that it happened with and the owner of the car and all that stuff. And make sure you tell them the um the case number um and you have my phone number in case they try to get it because we literally live in the same building our condos are in the same building the condo that i'm renting that i'm sure his family owns um his condo but i'm renting a condo for whatever um we live in the same building he's just on the bottom floor behind me and the police officer was just like, if anything happens, don't hesitate to call me and I will settle it since y'all live in the same building, you know. Um, what is happening? Okay, yeah. And I told my grandma everything. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful to God that like, First off, it was a minor accident, even though my car was parked and I was not in the vehicle. It happened while I was in my apartment, um, but the car is drivable, so it's not a big deal. There's just a dent and a scratch in it the size of my fist, and if you... My hands are huge. I'm just... That's my face like I have massive hands so you can imagine my fist is like it's it's huge anyways 
I'm gonna have to go to bed soon. Anyways, um, yeah, the fact that I was able to get the evidence, I did my due diligence, my neighbors were really helpful and told me who did it, and then the guy fessed up to the police officer. Man, it just really worked out. And I was getting stressed. I was like, when it first happened, I was like, I'm not gonna find who did it, like this sucks. And then I found who did it and he lied to my face. The audacity of people. You know, like if you're just honest from the get-go, it could have gone a lot better. But when you lie and you don't care for other people's things, it makes it so much worse and you get like, I wouldn't have had to file a police report if you just told me you did it and we could have just exchanged insurance and I could have gone to your insurance. Instead, with a police report, now you have a ticket. And there's witnesses who saw what you did. Anyways, I'm just really thankful that it worked out, that I'm okay, that I'm safe. And yeah. It's been a time, y'all. It has been a time. And I'm just glad that like one thing, even though it wasn't ideal, it worked out. And like, yeah, things are working out. But it's, it's been stressful with the whole health stuff. I should get a call this week what's going on I should know where I'm living this week as well things should get finalized but it's just been like it's not been ideal but like it's worked out because I mean even with this new job like nothing was ideal about it like everything was great about it the experience of starting the job and everything in the process um but it was kind of like last minute, but it worked like it worked out at the last minute. <sighs> yeah, so it's been it's been fine. Like every situation hasn't been perfect, but it's worked out. Does that make sense? I don't know. I feel like this is just really long. <sighs> I'm waiting for my hair to dry because I washed my hair. And I have to go to bed early because I have work early in the morning. I have a lot to do tomorrow. A lot of stuff is happening tomorrow that I should hopefully have the answers to. So I will check in with y'all later. Still didn't edit anything because today was so busy. I could honestly cry with everything that's happened. It's been a lot. I've been stressed out of my mind. It's been a lot. But it's going to work out because it always does. And I'm so thankful to God that it worked out. Like, absolutely praising God that it worked out because it was stressful and it was going left for a minute, but... We're on track. <sighs> Yo, I have exciting news. I found a place. I am going to be living, not in a house. No, no, I'm gonna be living in an apartment. I got an apartment, um, didn't go for the house. So went for the apartment, got it. And yeah, I'm excited. I feel like with the house, it would also just be a lot of responsibility and I would have to shovel snow, especially within 24 to 48 hours. So I couldn't just like stay inside all day. Like literally you can get fined um, if you have a house and you don't shovel your snow like off your, if you don't shovel the snow off your sidewalks within 24 to 48 hours, you can get fined. And I would have to mow the lawn and I wouldn't be able to have any pets. 
which you know is fine but i'm like i really would like a dog but i also don't want to do that like have an apartment dog you know but we'll see we'll see nothing's um fully fleshed out yet but yeah i have a place um only caveat is gotta get that vaseline girl the only caveat is is that this apartment is not going to be ready by the time my lease is up so i need to find a place to live during that time i have a few options i should be getting a call from the lease agent um or property manager uh tomorrow hopefully um to kind of go over next steps and like sign and re sign everything officially but yeah i got approved and so i just have to like sign the fine print and kind of see like what else i need um because this is just rent but obviously like there's other fees and stuff like that that i have to be prepared for and kind of create my account and all that stuff and so they'll walk me through that which is exciting um Yeah, I am super, super stoked. My veins are popping. You can kind of see. Okay, well, they're going down, but like, they popping. Why am I showing you my veins? No, we don't care about my veins. Anyways, so yeah, I'll be getting a call. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited that I, I know where I'm going to live. <laughs> like, that happens. And yeah it's just kind of figuring out the interim because in between i also am going to be out of town before i move so yeah i mean but you know the apartment was available when it was available so i couldn't really like do anything about that but you know kind of uh it's kind of like beggars can't be choosers you know you just gotta gotta go for it so there's that but I'm excited to know that I'm gonna be living in an apartment that I found a place and it's gonna be my own um, so yeah I'm gonna start researching uh, home security stuff because even though the apartment complex is secure I am living by myself for the first time and I just you know want to feel very safe I want to feel secure so yeah I want to kind of look into a security system for my place to kind of know when windows are opened when doors are open and have like footage of that like security cameras as well so you can see what's going on obviously I have renters insurance so like if something were to happen things are covered but if I can know like what's going on just because everything that's happened with my car being able to just have eyes on stuff is just so great because um, it's just an extra set of security uh, that is just very helpful so yeah I'm excited about that also another downside of like the house is that if I were to get the house I would also have to deal with like maintenance would be covered to an extent but like if there was like pest issue I would have to pay for that out of pocket myself and get that done and I'm sure that's not like it's not super expensive but it's also just like do I really want to pay for that I know a friend I think she's she has a house and she's getting hers done every quarter for maybe $50 each time, but that like adds up, you know? And I'm kind of realizing, I'm just like, you know, you're living by yourself. You don't have expenses to share with anybody. I was actually talking about this today. Like, living by yourself can be really scary. And just knowing that you have all this responsibility on you to like make it 
and I started feeling like a little bit insecure about it because I've always lived with someone. I've never lived by myself. And I know people say like once you live by yourself, you're never going to you're never going to want to go back. But it's honestly really scary. I feel like shifting from living by your living with people multiple people to living with one person and then to just living by yourself. Like I'm not going to have anyone to come home to. I'm not going to share responsibilities with that person. Um it's just going to be on me to get everything, which like that's fine, but it's also just like that's a big change. It's a big change to live by yourself and to and to be responsible for everything in your own home. It's going to be great to like do whatever I want in my space and not have to think about other people in terms of common spaces and stuff like that cuz when you live with someone, at least for me and my roommates, like we're considerate of the common space and like not leaving it messy or dirty and no we're not perfect all the time like we don't pick up after ourselves like every single time like sometimes things get messy and that happens but um like i don't have to worry about doing it in a certain time because of someone else i can just do it at whenever i want and live how i want and be as messy as I want. Not that I'm super messy. I can't live in a cluttered home, but like you know, if something's out of place, I don't have to be super you know, put together all the time with everything. Um and it's truly going to be my own space like everything. Anyways, I've been talking for almost 10 minutes. I'm going to sign off. Anyways, I'm going to sign off because I feel awful with this vertigo. And I will check y'all soon. I don't know when, but soon. Um, oh, also, I got my nails done. Like, my nails are new. It's been a few days since y'all have seen them. They're really cute. So, it's like yellow, pink, green, blue. And then this like, hold on, let me see. I'll do this hand. Purple. Can you see? There you go. Y'all helped me choose on, pin on not Pinterest. Y'all helped me choose on Instagram. So yeah, this is the one that we decided. So if you wanna check out my Instagram and follow me, I'll link it down below for you so you can follow me on Instagram and you know be a part of the process on helping me choose my nails I'm really liking like the blue and yellow vibe I think that's really cool so I mean they're all really cute and fun I think I'm also just gonna stick with short nails because it's so much easier to type with and I'm using the computer a lot these days